There are four grades of cars, as usual, in this particular formula. The white tops who start at the front, down there behind the control car. A quarter of a lap back, we've got the yellow tops. And we then go back to the blues, who are three quarters of the way round. And behind them, the top men of the sport, the star drivers. And there they are. Each time the drivers race, of course, they score the points and the list is compiled and the top men have to go at the back. Right at the front, of course, is the control car that keeps them all in their correct order to make sure that they're all lined up properly. One lap, they cruise round under the control of the starting marshal. And as they pass the start and finish line on the completion of that one lap, the control car pulls away and then they're underway. And of course, in this particular formula, anything goes. The cars are specially strengthened in order to withstand the pushing and shoving that takes place. The green flag is down and we're on our way for 20 laps to see if we can find a new Southern champion. The defending title holder's not here today, so it's uh, a championship up for grabs this afternoon. One of the white tops already in trouble, car number 261 facing the wrong way. A few more go plowing in as the star men go chewing their way through. Look at that or two for them to sort themselves out. Inevitably there are a few casualties in this particular formula. Keith Mulholland is the leader in 374. Driver from Farnham in Surrey, a white top. Of course, they've got to have a good uh, go while they can. They have the advantage, of course, the novice grade drivers of starting right at the front of the grid. And so they can't afford to hang about because they'll have this lot, the star men, the red tops, pounding up behind them very quickly. And I don't think he's going to do any more this afternoon. That's uh, poor old 172, Jeff Taylor from Feltham. Entire front suspension collapsed and causing a little bit of congestion there as one of the... Oh, that's a, I thought it was an inner track marker, in fact, it's not. It's a wheel, a hub, and probably stub axle as well. And car number four in trouble, Ray Tapper, is in bother there. And, in fact, we've got problems because of uh, one of those accidents. The steward has decided to stop the race. Someone is trapped. It's over on the far side. In fact, it's that 172 car that we looked at earlier on. Jeff Taylor from Feltham. There we are. And the front of that car really does look very sick. And I think it's obviously pushed everything back and perhaps trapped his legs for a moment or two. And uh, if the car's in one piece, well, that's one thing, leaving the driver in there. But when it's as badly damaged as that, and if someone's legs are trapped, you've really got to get the driver out. Anyway, he looks none the worse for it. But I think it's a case of a new car. Now, the track staff will quickly re-marshal the cars. They will line them up. In fact, there were only three laps gone, so I suspect they will restart probably in graded order. So, in other words, the three laps that have gone so far will be totally disregarded. They will go back in their colour grades, the whites at the front, then the yellows lining up there, then the blue tops and the stars at the back. And the race will then be rerun for the remaining 17 laps. Well, the cars have now been sorted out, put back into graded order, and we now go for the restart of this Stock Car Southern Championship with 17 laps remaining. 17 laps remaining. Once again, the warming up lap. The starting marshal keeping the cars in their grades. As they come to the pit turn, we get back underway with the restart. And straight into the lead again goes car number 374, Keith Mulholland. 261, Doug Thompson from Chessington is in second place. and they come and a little chance there that's exactly the way to do it the car in front hangs his back end out as in fact 
the 261, having tried to get rid of the leader, had the same thing done to him. He just let his back end hang out a little bit. The guy behind was very quick to seize the opportunity. A little shove, and round he went. That's trouble for car 100, and also for car number four, stuck in the bench, Ray Tapper from Bookham. There's the leader, the black and yellow car with a white roof here. 374, Keith Mulholland. And 21 has now joined that number four car up against the safety fence. Now the leader coming up behind some of the back marker cars, of course. Very quickly they catch up cars that have been got in, that have been in trouble. Track getting a little bit of shale on it now, and that's what happens, of course. The drivers go onto the speedway track, which, as you can see, is like a, a soggy pudding. And then when they drive back, they cart the shale on, which makes the going very slippery indeed. It really is very mucky out there this afternoon. gets himself going again and you can see the layer of shale mixed with the water now that's lining that track 229 in fact has now gone into the lead and i think he's tired out 226 eddie george one of the back markers 374 who's now dropped down into third place in fact 226 is not a back marker he's shot right the way through i just had a quick look at the lap sheets here and 229 in fact is the leader 226 is second and 374 is down to third, so that's the way they go now, a very rapid change of positions there. Now we'll find the leaders for you again in a moment. It's 2.29, here he is. Now that's Robert George. Then we've got one, two back markers, and 2.26, Eddie George's father. So we've got father and son, first and second at the moment. Look at the state of that. That's 374, our early leader, Keith Mulholland, just rejoining, and 229 is out. I think that must be, I think that was Robert George in there who's now out, so it's 226 is now the leader. 270 desperately trying to rejoin there, but he's finding it the difficulty, going very difficultly, that's Joe Fuller from Holston. But there we are, 226 is Eddie George. Second place, I think, is 272. onto the inside, that's a back marker, 402 Brian Sayers that's chasing him. In fact, it's Eddie George who is now clear. 12 laps gone in this 20-lap event, and it's 226, Eddie George is the leader. 272, in fact, is Dick Doddington, the English champion. He is in second place. Places are changing quite a lot. 99, Wally Hall has now moved into third place, so we've got 226, 272, 99. And there's the English champion, the white roof with the red cross denoting that title. And he's the man who's got to try and catch Eddie George in 226. 266, I think. Dave Shepard from Coulston has finished for the afternoon. But there's the second place man. And time is running out. 14 laps have gone, five more laps to go. And that's the man he's chasing. 226, Eddie George. The British champion in 1977. Comes from Cobham in Surrey. One of the real characters of the raceway, a sort of driver who's very prepared to get stuck in. He doesn't really mind who he pushes out of the way. But at the moment, he's got very little to push because he's got himself a lead of about a third of the lap, a lap at the moment. Four more to go. 226 Eddie George. Black Parker's spinning around in front of him. Going past a couple of slower cars. Still 272, Dick Doddington, and 99 not far behind him in third place. 226 then, Eddie George is the leader. 272, Dick Doddington is second. 99, Wally Hall comes next. And then it's 308 and 270 and 44, 275 and 252 further back. There's Wally Hall in 99. He's third. That's the man who's second, 272, 
Dick Doddington, and there's the leader, Eddie George. And he looks like adding another title, because he really is going very well. One of the yellow tops finding them going a little bit slippery. Inside the final lap, 2-2-6, Eddie George. A little bit of problem down there, 275-44 in bother. But the lead car is clear, coming to the pit turn for the final time. The chequered flag is at the ready. 226, the British champion in 77, and now the new Southern champion. It's Eddie George. Over the line in second place is 272. Dick Doddington nearly went out as he went over the line. And there's 99, Wally Hall, who comes home third. But the man who is the new Southern champion is 226, Eddie George, despite the attentions of Wally Hall there, who finished in third place.